I'm about to stop smoking and drinking for two weeks. <laughs> I am about to do the pregnancy diet for two weeks, which is about 1 20th of an actual pregnancy. My fiance is pregnant, so I know a ton about the pregnancy diet. I think she'll definitely appreciate me doing this for a couple weeks. I'm excited to feel not pregnant, but healthy. Now, I do want kids. I think that'd be fun. I think that it would be a very fulfilling part of my life. Don't want any kids. They're terrible, but I empathize with those who are with children. Oh shit, the rules? Yeah. Okay. Yo, being pregnant sucks, man. That's a bummer. I like my deli meats. I like my hot dogs. Oh, the expensive stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. No run, okay, so it's gotta be like scrambled, yeah. spongy eggs. Um, I don't think it'll be that hard because it's not like I eat a ton of sushi. Oh, okay, hold on. That's pretty bad. What a day. I need coffee though. Look who's eating, uh, what is that called again? A sandwich? Cold cuts? Cold cuts? Look who's eating cold cuts. Well, I'm not pregnant, you're pregnant. Look who, look who can't eat cold cuts. I am at a drive-thru. I have gone there a lot. I've never done a diet where I couldn't eat certain things, so I just don't know what I can eat. <laughs> this is driving me crazy. I'm on day three of a pregnancy diet. Do you have any idea how I feel? Well, I'm on month seven, yep. so that's only like 50 times as much <laughs> as you put it on it. But I gotta say, the first bit is the worst. So I wasn't sure if uh, pepperoni counted on the pregnancy diet, so I went to ask, our resident pregnancy expert, Kate, and she said it was all good, so. Breakfast, fast food. Lunch, fast food. Dinner, fast food. Maybe. It's going pretty good until uh, last night. We had to work really late on the crew, and yeah. Ended up, uh, yeah, having a couple of cold drinks with the crew, you know, trying to keep that camaraderie going. <laughs> You're gonna lie, Steve. <sighs> Just because your baby isn't real doesn't mean you can't fuck it up. Hi guys, uh, how how's the pregnancy diet going? Uh, when people come into me newly pregnant, it's so interesting to me how people don't seem to think so much about what they're putting in their bodies until they're making a baby. Because the old adage is true, you are what you eat. I had a hard time not drinking because, you know, like daddy loves some whiskey sour. There's a huge difference between consuming alcohol on a regular basis, which I don't advocate and I don't think is safe, and like having a glass of champagne at your best friend's wedding. The issue is we don't really know what the threshold of safety for alcohol exposure in a pregnancy is and there is this thing called fetal alcohol syndrome which is a very real and very serious problem so cutting out things has been difficult for the diet uh, but adding things is what I found even more difficult so what are the things we definitely should be eating it's increasing whole foods that are real foods that are not processed fruits vegetables whole grains for me it'd be my grandparents for you guys it'd be your great-grandparents would they recognize what you're eating as food? Because if not, don't eat it. What's the worst thing you can do or the worst thing you can eat when you're pregnant? The worst thing you could eat on a regular basis, probably lots and lots of animal products. I'm not a vegan, I'm just gonna, really? yeah, well, yeah. And lots and lots of sugar. But what's worse, having one whiskey sour or six Pop-Tarts? Wow, <laughs> oh! I'm kind of gonna be a big hippie about it and say have the whiskey sour. Oh! The thing I took away from this is uh, take everything in moderation. Almost everything in moderation. Except Almost for cigarettes. Don't smoke cigarettes. Don't smoke cigarettes. Yeah, don't smoke cigarettes. Still moderation there. <laughs> yeah, this baby diet, not that bad. I mean, Kate, how do you feel about the baby diet? I think you've been doing a bad job. Whatever. <laughs> One of the things they say to do on the pregnancy diet is to drink a lot more water, which I have done. And so far I've noticed that I pee with the frequency of a pregnant woman. Let's see the baby. I don't have to pee. You always have to pee. Okay, what's, okay. what's for lunch, Safia? Uh, Japanese wraps. We don't know if he can eat them or not. I think the answer is no. <laughs> I guess I don't eat lunch today because I'm pregnant. I'm realizing how much deli meat I eat and how many of my normal lunches I can't have anymore. I am dramatically changing the way in which I order sandwiches. It's been way rougher than I thought. I failed. 
I feel really bad about it. The two weeks were fine, but it was great, you know, having that solidarity with Kate. K Kate definitely appreciated it. I couldn't eat any of the things I normally eat. It was the addition of the healthier stuff. That's where I found a lot of trouble. I was struggling with my caffeine because I wanted more all the time. The way that I deal with my stress is by, by taking a quick drink after work. Like, what do you do when you're pregnant? when you're stressed out. No, I'm not glad that I'm not pregnant. I wish I could be like, hey, just give me the baby for a while. Chicks are really strong, man. You guys put up with a lot of shit. So cute, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say hello. Good morning, see the little feet? Yeah. Oh, man. I think we have a keeper. <laughs>